hope that X2 ends up opening. Yesterday it wasn't open apparently. So I guess we'll see, but there's X2. What is up? Oh. Then the destination is on your right. Alrighty. Um, what is up, thrill seekers? So today, as you could see from the clip before the intro, we are at Six Flags Magic Mountain. You can see it right there. Anyways, I am insanely excited for today. I haven't been to Magic Mountain in a bit, and I'm excited to get back there, uh, ride some awesome coasters like Twisted Colossics, X Colossics X2 all of those rides so yeah let's do it look it's west coast racers track we have some yellow ones some yellow ones um some white pieces of track it actually looks like it's pretty empty in terms of like what there is i'll probably do a construction update of it but um but wow that's that's cool to see anyways scream the famous parking lot coaster we have twisted Coloxcus. Um, as I pronounced it, like Twisted Colossics. So we're going to go to Full Throttle first. Um, and this is kind of just our like um, test to see how the crowds are today. Um, if Full Throttle has a long line, then we're gonna get Fast Passes. If not, then we're just going to ride it and we probably won't need Fast Passes. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just our test. Um, and of course we'll ride it as well. So I'm excited to get back on this thing. I remember it from last time. Um, we had some pr pretty funny experiences on it and uh, I'm excited to get some nice hang time and everything. Awesome. All right. Let's begin our YOLO experience <laughs> with full throttle. Hey, thrill seekers, eat more chicken. <laughs> We just got off of full throttle, um, as you can see it behind me right there. Um, but that's a really good launch coaster. It gives amazing hang time. I wouldn't say the, uh, the launch is that forceful, in my opinion. Um, the second one is definitely pretty forceful um, after you do the backwards launch. When you launch again, um, you do accelerate pretty quickly through that one. Um, but really, other than the hang time, there's not too much to it. Um, of course, there's like brakes on the drop, which really like slam your gut into it, which hurts a little bit. Um, anyways, um, it said 15 minutes and we, I think we waited like 30 and the line is actually getting a lot longer as well. So I don't know, might be a good idea to get fast passes today, but I guess we'll see. Um, we're going to go to Tatsu, I think. Oh no, um, what's it called? New Revolution. That's actually going to be a new credit for me. So, yeah, let's do New Revolution, the first vertical loop on any roller coaster. Uh. Here we go. Woo! Okay, 
it was all right. Nothing really special. I mean, it, it was the first vertical loop in the world, I think. I'm pretty sure. So we're about to ride my number 113, something else that we did not ride last time we were here, and that is Viper, um, the aero looping coaster. And it is going to be absolutely terrible. Yes, you trash can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just got of a Viper and my dad and I I think have a little bit of different opinions on it. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't I banged my head once, but even that was kind of like my neck because I was like pushing my head forward and grabbing the restraints pretty much as hard as I could. Um, but he didn't think it was good. <laughs> well, uh, something, something had the line. Anyways, I'm gonna ride Tatsu. I didn't Tatsu. I Okay, that is definitely a challenger for best ride in the park. I don't know if it is the best ride because we haven't ridden Twisted Colossus yet. And also X2 is closed. All around me are familiar faces. Get well soon, X2. Get well soon. Um, but it's definitely in my top 20, if not top 15, I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe in my top 25, it might be a little bit, I don't know. Somewhere in my top 20, I think. Um, anyways, it's an awesome ride. Super fun, um, very forceful. We got two rides, one in the front and one in, I think, the third to back. And both rides were like super awesome. Definitely towards the back is more forceful, um, especially on that pretzel loop. Um, I think we're going to get something to eat and then we're going to go on to Superman, um, which is this way? Okay. Oh yeah. Um, we're going to go on Superman after, which is the um, backwards launched poster shuttle thing. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that and it should be fun. All right, at uh, this place is just across from Tatsu. Uh, you can get some weird chicken fries and like four chicken fingers for about $13. Pretty good deal. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So we were just basic and ate chicken tenders and some weird looking fries. Um, but now we're gonna be even more basic and walk up the Six Flags m and steps up to the Superman Plaza. It is the only ride that does not have a flash pass, um, at least that we wanna go on, so uh, that'll be an interesting line to wait in. At least it's air conditioned, I think, maybe. Anyways, here goes the m and steps. Here we go. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, instead of um, Superman, we're going to do a ninja first. Showing on ninja. That was more intense than Iron Dragon at Cedar Point. Probably, yeah. Uh, the other sus aero suspended coaster that we've been on. We got some good views of um, West Coast racers. Anyways, um, I think next we're gonna do um, Superman, so yeah, let's do that. Got Superman Escape from Krypton next. And it should be insanely, insanely fun.
Recently fun, um, probably a little above middle tier at this park. It didn't do too much for me. It was super short. The launch wasn't very forceful, and it didn't seem like it went that high. Obviously, it did go pretty high, but it just didn't feel like it when you're on the ride, if that makes sense. Um, and of course, the launch is really gradual and not very forceful. So it was okay. What do you think? It's no Mr. Freeze, that's for sure. Yeah, that's true. Um, Mr. Freeze is awesome. But we are going to go somewhere. I think we're going to go to maybe Riddler's Revenge, maybe. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. This is going to be the entrance to the underground. Some nice West Coast Racers shots. Okay, so we just rode five different rides. We rode a uh, Gold Rusher, um, Riddler's Revenge, got, just got off of Batman the Ride, and we also did Crazanity and Justice League. I had never done a Justice League before. I had done a um, giant pendulum like swing ride, I don't know what they're called. Um, but I have done one of those. I did one at Six Flags New England, um, so I already kind of knew what that was like. Justice League actually blew away my expectations. I thought it was going to be kind of like, you know, you shoot the little targets, but they actually had a great storyline, really incorporated the storyline into it, and actually, like, the cars spun and were just a lot more movie, I guess, um, than I expected. And then Batman the Ride was just a normal Batman the Ride clone, except it kind of felt like it was going a little bit faster than lots of Batman the Ride clones, which I didn't actually like because all the blood rushed through my feet and it um, actually really hurt. Same thing with uh, Riddler's Revenge, same thing happened. And Gold Rusher is eh. But um, we are going to go on, I think, Scream. We're gonna go into this uh, Scream Punk district and we're going to ride Scream, uh, Twisted Colossus. And then we're going to, whoa, and then we're gonna ride Goliath. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah. Scream Punk District. We just got a Twisted Colossus duel. It was on the blue side for us, and it was awesome. Um, we tried for like five times or something like that, um, and we finally got it, and it was like almost perfect, um, which is awesome. Oh, 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 come on. So great job, shout out to the Twisted Colossus team. You guys were killing it today. Right now we are going to go to um, Scream. So yeah, um, taking a ride on the world famous parking lot coaster. <laughs> All right, next up is ah! So um, yeah, it should be pretty fun. Bye.
So I feel like that ride gets too much hate. Lots of people say it's like rough and there was a little bit of a B&M rattle, but I didn't actually bang my head once throughout the ride. Um, like my glasses kind of hit the side and it was kind of awkward, but um, I didn't actually like bang my head or anything like that. Um, some bad news though, um, and I'll, I'll kind of insert this clip of the POV right now. Oh, wow. Watch. Oh. I think it just literally just fell right there. Right now? Like literally just right there. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, so um, I, the little fast pass, like a watch, like slipped off on the lift hill. It was on the lift hill, so fortunately it's not like scattered around somewhere in the ride sequence, but um, yeah, I think we're gonna go to guest relations and um, we'll just let them know. And I think if they should be able to find it, hopefully, so that we don't have to pay the $100, but I'm not sure what they'll do in terms of like, will they give us a new one? And then if they can find it, then they won't charge us or, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. This is a new adventure. What? Okay, so um, what we did, we just went back to the Flash Pass kiosk. And what they did is they replaced it. They did the like $100 lost or stolen fee. Um, but what they did is they gave us a new one and then they said that um, if it's found, because obviously they do the maintenance walks and inspecting the track and all of that kind of stuff. So when they do their maintenance walk, if they find it, then they will take it back to um, to the Flash Pass kiosk, um, and they will refund the one hundred dollars. So, pretty pretty good system. Really, very much, definitely hope that they can find it. Um, it should just be in like the netting or on the stairs, hopefully. But um, anyways, we're going to go to Goliath now, and then after full throttle. The last ride that completes our day is Go Lion. All right, guys. Wow, the lighting is bad. Here we go. Um, so we did Goliath and then we did the last ride of the night on Tatsu and um, it was really really fun uh, great riding Tatsu at night and then Goliath was pretty good it's just the worst version of Titan to be honest oh! um, like feels the exact same super smooth a tiny bit of airtime but pretty much the exact same thing as Titan um, except a little bit worse but anyways we are going to head out of the park I'll do a proper intro or outro um, near the near the exit so guys that will conclude our day at Six Flags Magic Mountain um, it was an awesome day. We got in everything that we wanted to except for X2 and Drop of Doom. Fortunately, my dad and I are going back in a couple days. I'm not going to vlog it, but hopefully those rides are open. Anyways, um, I am going to Knott's Berry Farm, which is going to be super, super fun. Um, that vlog will come out in a couple days, hopefully. Um, but anyways, that's really going to be it for this video. Definitely like and subscribe if you're new all of that fun stuff, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. Like Twisted Colossics.